patch 3.1 drops on March 24th, and by far, it will be one of the biggest patches ever. Two new champions, tons of new skins, and spoilers, it seems like India's not getting Wild Rift this year. So that sucks. Now, to get our juices flowing, the Wild Rift team has dropped a massive patch 3.1 preview, which of course I'll be reacting to right here, right now. So let's get into it. We believe we've made some good progress over the past few patches, with game balance and champion balance in a decent place. I mean, <laughs> kind of. That said, we hear you and know that there are still issues with game fairness, including AFK and intentional feeding. So, okay, first things first here, let's pause for a bit because there's a few things here they said that are one, tilting, and two, you know, makes me hopeful for the future. But basically, they're saying there's plans or they're building some sort of system that deals with AFKs and people who troll or intentionally feed better. But the thing that's important is that they acknowledge that it's happening, right? If, if they were ignoring it, that would be another issue, but they're acknowledging it. The problem is they really didn't say anything here. They just said, we feel you. We heard you. We're working on it. How are you working on it? What are you actually doing about it is missing. Now, they did mention one thing that's important, though. They're working on giving us more visibility on our reports. In other words, you know, typically when you report someone and like they get punished, it, it literally just it doesn't really tell you anything. It doesn't tell you like what the punishment actually was in a lot of ways. So hopefully they let us in on what they're actually doing to these people we're still working on releasing into south asia as well as our console version of the game but we won't have any updates on those in 2022 that's rough they basically just said india uh, we see you in the comment section but we can't do anything about it this year i'm assuming something very complicated came up because by far india is one of the biggest markets in terms of mobile gaming so there's no way they don't want a piece of the pie right now there's no freaking way Elemental Rift is an evolution. Oh, wait, wait. At the bottom, it says content availability varies by region. Okay, what does that mean? Streamline changes. This will look a little different from what you saw in January because we're looking to achieve a few new things. In addition to team comps, runes, and item builds, we want to make games play out differently each time. Between objectives okay they want to make games feel different each time right now wild drift is very like cut and dry the only thing that really changes every single game is what champion you play and what potatoes you get on your team that's basically all that changes like you know the way you approach your objectives is the same every time this is bound to refresh the game a bit hopefully elemental rift will give us more tools to make sure that the game remains dynamic and fun we're also looking to even out the gap between coordinated teams and solo players. We have a few ideas on how we can achieve this and trying a variety of changes in the future will help us hit these goals in the most satisfying way possible. Okay, I like what they said that, you know, balancing out the teams you have every game a little better. I think one of the best ways to do this is, you know, if you queue up as a, a support and a carry, for example, I think in theory, you should be matched up against another support and a carry. So another dual queue. Because I think right now it's like, you know, free for all. If you queue up as like a jungler, a carry and a support, like the enemy team is like, you know, whatever positions they get, as long as they're trio queue, you're going to match up against them. Which I don't think it's fair because you know imagine like i have a good jungler me as support and someone else that's playing carry with me if the enemy team is like insane top lane insane mid lane and an insane carry but their support and junglers are complete randoms and they're just complete trash like they're going to lose the game and they're gonna tilt on those two people you know i don't know how they're gonna do that you know especially in high ranks you know my increase queue times who knows i know in the lower tiers it's probably possible to do that because there's a lot more players to go around but i don't know know I, i'm excited to see like what they really test out here with that overall though it, it should make i think especially solo queue a little more you know less stressful i would say wherever we land we'll be keeping a close eye on the effects of these changes and we're looking forward to hearing your feedback in this first version of elemental rift slaying each dragon offers a unique buff but taking enough dragons also grants the dragon soul a powerful buff that matches one of the dragon's elements we're still working on how many kills it should take, but in this test run, Dragon Soul will trigger after the third dragon, so you'll be able to obtain three buffs along with your soul. 
Nice. Infernal Dragon now grants bonus attack damage and ability power. And the Infernal Soul creates explosions around your abilities and attacks, dealing bonus and damage. That's freaking nuts. That's really good. Your target. Mountain Dragon increases your armor and magic resist. And the Mountain Soul grants a shield after not taking damage for a short while. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I like this Mountain Dragon way better. <laughs> Ocean Dragon restores health over time, and Ocean Soul restores more health when dealing damage to enemies. The first oh, that's nice. Dragon, I like that. Then after that, all dragons will match the element of the rift. You'll oh, always that's know cool. Which all right, keep in mind. First two are random. First so two are random. Fight for it or trade a different objective if it doesn't fit your team comp. You might have noticed that we didn't cover one element. With the arrival of Elemental Rift, we're removing Cloud Dragon. I don't know, I, th I think Cloud Dragon, you know, they could have made it work, but what is that? Five dragons would have been a little too much because you got, yeah, it would have been a little too much, I think. You'll also see that dragons, Rift Herald, and Baron spawn later in the game, and dragons will be a bit easier to take. By building more time into objective spawns, we're hoping to strike a better balance between team performance and individual play. Players will have more options to choose how they want to play the early game rather than needing to rush the objective right away. I think one of the problems I have right now with Wild Drift is that like the laning phase isn't as long as I liked it to be. It's basically like once you hit what four minutes is basically a free for all like get as many objectives as you can. If you don't TP before this time like then they're gonna ping you to death because you're trash and you know you should have been there for the objective and stuff like that. Like people literally die for dragons. They will like 50 50 every single dragon instead of like trading an objective or something. So hopefully these changes help people understand understand you know how to manage around the game a little better on top of you know making the game a little more refreshing overall we've also totally revamped elder dragon making it much closer to its league pc nice. kin after the dragon soul has been taken by a team elder dragons will be up for grabs offering a game ending true damage burn effect and executing enemies when they drop to low health if your team picks up elder it's time to fight after the second dragon is slain in each oh my god did you guys see that what the heck she still had quite a lot of health honestly there's also that like elder dragon animation on jinx too when she gets the kill the infernal rift burns away brush and opens new pathways to red and blue buff this can offer an advantage to the winning team for deep warding and aggressive invades but also means the path back to your base is much shorter the mountain rift forges new terrain in the jungle as well as a defensive wall in the front of the Dragon Pit. This rift offers new flanking routes and ways to force your opponents into a bottleneck for an AoE explosion. The Ocean Rift spawns more brush across the map with bumper crops of honey fruit. Use the brushes for surprise ambushes or just put on some rainy lo-fi beats and heal up for the next fight. With a lot of these dragons, what you'll notice is that sometimes it's like, you know, you get lucky because sometimes their champs benefit from like whatever the map changes to so much. Like, for example, imagine you have like a full on AOE or like a team come that wants to fight in choke points. Like the mountain is your dragon. Overall, it's going to be really fun to like really, you know, put your mind into it and figure out like what to do. We'll be testing this rift during limited time windows in a totally separate queue during patches 3.1 and 3.2. This will allow us to monitor and make adjustments before it replaces the existing Wild Rift map fully in our pre-season in patch 3.3 later this year. Oh man, so this isn't gonna be a ranked yet. It's gonna be like, you're gonna have a window of time to try it out, but it's gonna be a completely separate queue. So yeah, we're gonna have to get some, uh, you know, some videos going. That's what it sounds like. All right, let's get into the champions here. By this point, many of you guys already know the two new champions, but let's see what they gotta say about him. ...to protect Ionia and its allies in the Baron Lane. His Spirit Blade follows him and grants him more damage against his foes and protection when his team needs it most. Shen isn't a particularly stealthy Kinku, but he makes up for it with defensive options and hard crowd control. 
slide on into the enemy team to talk all right so overall honestly from what i'm seeing here it's basically going to be very similar to what you see on pc but the one that is receiving a whole bunch of changes is karma she's really getting it here karma has a couple of changes from her pc version with a greater focus on her battle mage playstyle. we thought we'd go into a little more detail with karma to highlight some of her differences first up we've moved karma's ultimate to her passive <laughs> such a league of legends death thing to do you know we're just moving this thing that is typically an ultimate and we're making it her passive so good luck playing against her <laughs> every spell karma casts she gains a stack of mantra and at three stacks her next ability is empowered inner flame fires a blast of energy dealing damage and slowing enemies when empowered it leaves a slow field which explodes a second time Focused Resolve now tethers up to two nearby champions. If those nice, champions so two fail champions. to escape range, they're rooted for a short time. When empowered, this ability forms an additional tether, forcing those enemies to scatter. If any of the tethers aren't broken in time, the enemies get a mega root for a longer period. Quote, mega root. That's their way of saying like, good luck playing against this. Basically like Lex, Morgana, and a whole bunch of other champions combined. Karma's third ability, Inspire, grants an ally a shield that offers movement speed. Under the effect of Mantra, the shield could empower an additional nearby ally. Oh, so Finally, two people get Karma's the shield. Brand I like new that. It's pretty good. Transcendent Embrace forms a ring of spirit energy, dealing damage, slowing, and knocking enemies into the center if they're caught on the edge. Oh my god, it's basically Diana's ultimate. That's pretty nuts. <laughs> pretty freaking nuts i'm not sure why they went ahead with that but they're making her really really enticing i'm really down to play this you know as a support main i will one trick her mid lane karma is gonna be disgusting i'm sure you know that diana ultimate on top of things oh oriana ultimate similar too right but yeah we'll see how it plays out i'm ready for the toxicity later this year we'll be revisiting some battle scarred locations in rune terra next up we're heading to zorn Bilgewater and Noxus. So what do you guys think? Honestly, I don't know the league lore. So yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. I think I heard someone say like Swain would be possibly one of those champs that we could see or I don't know. There was another one, but yeah, let me know what you what do you guys think? We're giving more options to fighters in this patch with the introduction of new items. Divine Sundra is the perfect option for champs looking to brawl who want some extra health and damage. We want to offer a sturdier alternative for bruisers that traditionally build Trinity Force. After using an ability, your next basic attack will deal a percent of your target's maximum health as bonus damage. If that target is another champion, you will also heal for some of the damage you dealt. Top laners are gonna be so happy this patch. Nasus right now is like screaming happiness in the background. This item is gonna be really good on a lot of top laners. Giving these people more options, that's for sure. But yeah, it's gonna be definitely very good on champs like Nasus and I think Darius and you know, certain bruisers. Uh, they showed their set, so it probably would be good with it as well. Hole Breaker is for champs who want more durability and split pushing power. While no ally champions are near you, you'll gain bonus armor and magic resist and deal more damage against structures. You'll also give a mini boost to nearby minions so they can keep you company on your split pushing journey. That's pretty nuts. Like, tell me that doesn't sound pretty OP. I, I think this item is like the one a lot of people are talking about on PC. It's somewhat new, I think. Um, and it's basically like the split pushing item. That's what they're calling it. So good luck against these split pushing menaces because they're, they're probably going to get this. Fimble Winter will be more closely aligned with its PC version, offering its trademark shield on slows as well as hard crowd control. Death Stance is becoming an AD and armor item, as we felt that there were too many unimpactful choices offered by the AD and health items in Wild Rift. Fulfilling its original intended purpose, we're reworking Solari Charge Blaze passive to make it more appealing to monks. What? Oh, oh, what? They didn't say what, how they're changing the passive. What? Like Morgana or Alistar. Pulling off the perfect CC chain could mean you get to cast your active item multiple times in a fight. 
All right, so Hexag Mega Drive, it's pretty much an item nobody uses, to be completely honest. It basically, like, lowers the cooldown of your actives. But, you know, as a support main, I really tested it out, tried using it a lot, and it just, it didn't really feel worth buying. So, hopefully here, with this change they're making to it, you know, it's more appealing. We know supports have needed more love for a while, so in this update, we're rebalancing support summoner spells to give players more active options in the laning phase and in team fights. First, we're strengthening the initial slow on exhaust to give more offensive and defensive options. Honestly, that's gonna make exhaust a little bit OP, no? I mean, exhaust is already pretty good, so. Heal will now grant more health to the healed ally and less to the user. I guess that somewhat balances out the exhaust change as well because if you exhaust the carrier or whoever you know you pop heal and they'll at least survive the slow for a little bit so that's not too bad but as a support you must know that you know i see a lot of supports be extremely aggressive knowing that they can get very low because they have heal up so you know they pop heal get out with one of their gap closers or their dash or whatever you know you got to be careful with that you know keep an eye on it and ignite is retuned to be more effective in the early game and weaker in the late game certain champs are going to be pretty toxic with this um but we'll see how this one plays out one idea we're thinking about for 2022 is theming our major patches to address specific game balance or systemic changes next patch we're hoping to have some updates on map vision and we're also looking at the impact of our current rune set could that mean they're gonna add like i don't know pink words or something or like new sets of vision from pc or something like that oh that's very exciting we'll see we'll see the next season of ranked will soon be underway and that means there's a new glorious skin up for grabs just make sure she doesn't grab you first I, I'm not a big fan of Evelyn, you know, don't have unsubscribe because I, I said that, but yeah, I mean, it's a good looking skin, honestly. With our explorations coming to an end, many mysteries are still left unsolved. Thankfully, we've hired some private expertise as Psychic Detective Senna is on the case and making her debut in this wild past just in time to help us get to the bottom of this mind-bending world oh senna skin and you see i'm a big fan of the high noon skin though so as a support main i must say this is a b tier skin unfortunately in champ select if you're in the jungle you'll now automatically be assigned smite oh my god thank the lord we're introducing the news tab patch notes game news community events Esports and videos are now easily accessible through the app. Oh, new tab. I like that. I mean, honestly, I'm not surprised. I've played in the China uh, server and this new tab is like old news for them. This is like, come on. It's good though. I like it. As we mentioned in January, we're going to be running more events this year with less downtime between each one. But part of that is going to be varying the types of events we run and experimenting with different ways to play. To give you a taste of what's happening later this year in Wild Rift, we'll be revisiting High Noon, Pool Party, Pulse Fire, and maybe even further beyond. Further beyond. Further beyond. Further beyond. Sorry, I got distracted. Our biggest focuses this year will be on our shared moments with League PC, like Lunar New Year. We'll collaborate a few times a year on huge, unforgettable moments with new skins, stories, and more. Those larger events will stay under wraps for now. Now, let's get back to it and showcase some of the skins headed your way in patch 3.1. Notice how the new champs come with skins. Smart, smart, right? Very smart. Oh, the freaking pretty kitty ringer. Oh boy. Renek Toy. I like that skin, but frick, man. I'm honestly, I'm really aiming for like. I really aim to get skins I know I'm gonna use. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna get this Ezreal skin though. I like that. And of course, Ezreal always comes with the Lex skin. Duh. Alright, you guys are gonna get some couple gameplays from the bottling coming your way very soon here. Not bad. Graves and Brand getting skins there at the end as well. 
Not bad. So that is all for this patch preview. What do you guys think of that? You know, overall, I'm pretty excited for the new items. Yeah, super excited for that. But by far, the biggest thing I'm excited for is Karma and the new Elemental Dragon. That's going to be pretty OP. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't yet, join my Discord server. I'm trying to revive it. We're giving it CPR right now. So come help me with that. I